Here we are at New Way. You can see the, uh, the right side truck on the right side of the rail. This is where we'd had the little sticky issues. Uh, I'm holding the tube right here, trying not to put any influence on it. Uh, we've got 60 PSI being fed to the, to the bearing. Jim's going to lower it, his end, a little less than a quarter of a turn. And we can see the truck starting to accelerate. Right, go ahead, Jim, bring it back the other way. Okay, so he's going about the same in the other direction, maybe three-eighths total displacement to bring the truck back in the other direction. All right, go ahead. Now I just dropped it, and the truck's going to run off the end, but I'm going to stop it. You can see the truck's accelerating down again because he has lowered that side. The truck's taken off from the end all by itself. So how much are we actually changing the level of the rail? Uh, Jim, go ahead and uh, raise it. I guess this is the maximum height we have. Now go ahead and bring it to the, the lowest point. Okay, so that's about 135 degrees or a quarter plus an eighth of a turn. So that's a 5818 screw thread which is 55 thousandths per revolution. So that makes our 3 eighths of a turn about 21 thousandths worth of lift. The support bolts are 28 inches apart, so that works out to about 4% of one degree, a small fraction of a degree, and half of that is initiating motion in either direction.